Sharon Pedro, good evening to the two of you from Santa Barbara. And if that vote is approved tomorrow, it would definitely increase oil production here in America. But according to the latest survey that we found, seven out of 10 Californians oppose offshore oil drilling. It's why so many people are keeping their eyes on tomorrow's meeting. Oil prices surging more than 50% this year. And Californians feeling the effects with some of the highest gas prices in the nation. The latest culprit is the war in Ukraine. But did you know, nearly half of the oil that the United States imports from Russia comes right here to the West Coast. There are ways to reduce our need on foreign oil. One is to use less of it, which is unlikely at this time. There's renewable energy, but that'll take years. Another is to drill right off the California coast. That, that is the ExxonMobil uh, proposal to uh, increase truck trips uh, and restart uh, an oil operation that was going previous to the oil spill back in 2015. Das Williams is one of five Santa Barbara County Board of Supervisors members who will vote Tuesday on a plan that could grant ExxonMobil the permission to haul close to 25,000 tanker trucks of oil per year along California's coastal and inland highways. Part of this proposal also includes restarting three oil platforms off the Santa Barbara County coast, three platforms that have been shut down since the Refugio oil spill. That kind of uh, disaster is not something that the people of a community uh, forget very easily, and uh, and we're pretty um, and we're pretty uh, suspicious of new uh, and expanded oil projects. The Refugio oil spill put more than 142,000 gallons of crude onto the Santa Barbara County shore in May of 2015 after an underground pipeline which transported oil from offshore oil platforms cracked. And there's the oil spill in 1969 that launched the environmental movement in America. A blowout from Platform A over a 10-day period put more than 4 million gallons of crude into the Santa Barbara Channel and surrounding beaches. It's the third worst oil spill in America and remains the worst in the state's history. We're counting on the Santa Barbara Board of Supervisors to deny the proposal, and then we need to go further. Bill Hickman is the regional manager for the Surfrider Foundation in Southern California, a group dedicated to protecting the world's oceans, waves, and beaches. Surfrider is one of more than a dozen environmental groups against this plan. And more recently, the oil spill in Orange County was a reminder of past oil spills in Santa Barbara and the need to phase out offshore oil drilling for cleaner energy solutions. Well, Mark, is there any indication that the board will pass the proposal? Well, Cher, I am somebody who's lived in Santa Barbara for a good portion of my life. And as we mentioned in the package just before, the environmental movement started here. So it'd be really unlikely for the board to approve this plan tomorrow. Keep in mind, the Planning Commission voted down this plan three to two. That happened late last year. However, gas prices were not what they are right now. So you can bet that's going to be presented at tomorrow's meeting. A decision will be cited. It starts at nine o'clock. We'll bring it to you as soon as it happens. We're live in Santa Barbara this evening. Sending it back to you. Yes. Yeah,